Welcome back, guys. Well, safe to say, pre-season's gone fairly well. Five wins out of five. The only slight issue is I had an assistant manager who loved to injure all the players in pre-season. Safe to say he's gone now. So let's get into the FA Cup second qualifying round. Yeah, so as you can see, guys, pre-season's gone really well. 3-1 victory over Mansfield. 5-3 victory over Belper Town. We got a 4-0 victory over Redditch. 2-0 over Bury Town. And then 4-2 over Altrincham in the last game with Jack Redshaw scoring all four goals for us. Now, as mentioned, there has been injuries and that man, Harry Bunn, is out until Christmas. So, as you can see there, Harry Bunn broke his foot in, I believe it was the first game of the pre-season friendlies. Devastating. Well, hopefully, like I said on the last video, we have the squad depth to cover for him. But if you look at injury history, this is where it gets spicy. We have all these injuries in the first month. Now, if you filter this by when they were received, only three of them were actually in matches. All the other injuries came in training. So, with that in mind, because, I mean, who does their own training on FM? The assistant manager does it for me. So, the, what's the knee-jerk reaction to having all them injuries in training? Replace the assistant manager. So, we now have Chris Llewellyn in. Just see if I can get his profile up. There we go. Former Welsh international. Three caps, one goal. Man management isn't brilliant, but he's a massive upgrade on what we had. Um, I think he was called Michael Cummins. His stats were horrendous co compared to Llewellyn's. So yeah, knee-jerk reaction, which looks like it might have paid off. So let's get into the FA Cup second qualifying round. Now we have drawn Bamba Bridge, who I believe are in the league below us. They are in the Northern Premier League, which I believe is the division below us, if I'm not mistaken. So it should be a fairly competitive game. We'll have to do well to win. As you can see, they drew 2-2 with uh, Leamington Spa who are in our league, but they are one of the teams who are down as 200-1 to one to gain promotion. So we should be beating this side. Let's get into the tactical meeting. Obviously, with it being our first game, you get all this gumph. We'll get rid of that. We won't be making them changes. Right, so the team for the game against Bamber Bridge in goal, Zabret. Right back is Duckworth. Centre backs, Tinkler and Kennedy. Left back is Newton. Dyson's going to be playing on that left hand side as the inverted winger. He can do a job there. He's more natural on the right hand side. He's right footed, but again, same with Harry Bunn. Harry Bunn's right footed. Keeps the formation exactly the same. Inverted winger on attack. Uh, Michael Woods in midfield with... I really need to start learning these first names. Stuart Lewis, who's banged a couple of goals in in pre-season, actually. I wasn't expecting it from him. Uh, Jack Lely on the right, who, as you can see, these guys have all passed fitness tests. They should be fine. So, Michael Woods, 45 minutes. Right. I will need to remember that because I will no doubt play him for the full 90. 
up front, Thompson Brissett, and let's have a look, Jack Redshaw. And they've both been firing. So let's get into the game. There we go, just a reminder. That their lack of match sharpness and may struggle to see out the game. But again, we've got good options on the bench in them positions. The only thing I am looking at doing is I have a player I know quite well because I am a Middlesbrough fan is Ben Little. He has appeared as a loan option for us in centre midfield. Ideally, we could do with some wingers. I went in for one and he signed for Eastley instead of us. Let's try and pump the guys up. We should be winning this one comfortably. Play your own game and you'll win. Let's give the fans a performance. First game of the season. Seemed demotivated. Fantastic. Right, let's get into this. Set this up. Click this. God knows why that paused. Let's have a look. Newton with a cross in. Thompson Brissett on the rebound. Oh, he's offside. Offside. Was that tight? I feel like there was a defender with him. Oh. Yeah, their left back was almost playing him on. Let's have a look. Not much in the way of highlights. Here we go. Tinkler with a long throw. Duckworth win that to Woods in centre midfield. Woods plays it to Dyson. Dyson over the top. Lely goes alone. Great save by Russia. Corner kick, we do have some decent options in the middle for a corner. Lewis picks the ball up. Goes out for a throw. Will the highlight continue? No, it won't. So as you can see, fairly quiet game, quite evenly matched as well. But we've had all the highlights there. Let's get into the dressing room. We need to be doing better than what we're doing. Let's have a look. Point the finger. And going to tactics because we need to bring Michael Woods off don't we well I'm saying that he seems okay I'm gonna leave it at that I think yeah we'll leave it at that for now we'll get into the midfield Have a look, there we go. Ollie Dyson and Michael Woods enjoyed that. Highlight straight from the kickoff, which always worries me when they've got the ball. Here we go. Close. Really bad defending from both. Missed a clearance and then missed slide tackle from Kennedy and Tinkler there. Have a look. Here we 
going to try and catch us on the break again, no? Tinkler. Lily controls well on this right-hand side. Johnson Brissett. Saved by Russia again. It's twice he's denied us. And in the scouting report for this game, it said that Russia was one of the weak links of the team. It said that goalkeeper was somewhere that they needed to strengthen. Not the way they're playing at the moment. He's on a 7.2. Right, I'm going to make some changes. So young Jack Lely struggling a little bit. Right, I'm going to bring Woolerton on for Lely. Even though his max sharpness isn't great. What else can we do? Cassidy, Cassidy. Press him forward. Ideally, don't want to take the strikers off at the moment. Michael Wood's still playing well. No, we'll take Woods off. We'll take Woods off. We'll try that. See how we go. Here we go. Highlight for us. Newton whips it in. Jagney. Tower and header. I don't even think he's that tall. But you know, I'll take credit for that one. He's just come on as a substitute. Beats his man. Boom, what a goal. That'll do. Right. Let's see. Who can we change? Don't really have anybody on the left wing who can cover that position. Saying that we do. I'll tell you what we might do. Bring... He can do a job there. What do you want to do on that side? Play as a winger. Winger on support. And we'll bring right on there. But he is going to play ball winning midfielder for us. On defend. And that's our lot. We have been the much better team in the second half and we do deserve this win, but we would have liked to have win, won by more than 1-0. Looks like that's going to be the final whistle. Yeah, there we go. 1-0 victory. Didn't really deserve any more than that. 1.47 on XG, but again, this team should be Beaten Bamba Bridge by more than one goal to nil. Let's have a look. Assistant recommends a good win, boys. Well done. <clears throat> I don't think that's the case. I'm going to point the finger. Say we got away with one. Yeah, that's motivated most of the players. Have a word with Jagni and just just say well done to him. There we go. That's just changed him around. I see a lot of people don't seem to do that. You can still have the individual team talks on FM twenty one, and on FM twenty it sort of went through a systemized approach to it. And it would 
tell you to speak to the defence midfield and attackers and then obviously in the actual tab bars you could speak to them individually. We can still do it now. But yeah. 1-0 win. Group the next round. That'll do. Right. I will see you at the start of the season. And here we go. The first game of the season, York versus Alfreton Town, away from home. But again, we are favourites, so let's get into it. I really need to get rid of this pre-match tactical advice because it's horrendous. I just want you to change your entire team all the time. We'll do the opposition instructions and we'll get on to the team selection. Now, as you can see, we have a new player in the side. Dan Neal. He's come in on loan from Sunderland. Goes straight into our midfield. Big upgrade on uh, Michael Woods. He's going to play that deep line playmaker role on support rather than defend. Just felt like we needed something else in that central midfield. So we've also brought in Jagney. After his goal scoring effort in the last game as a sub, he's come in for Stuart Lewis. He's going to uh, play box to box, just try and give a little bit more pace in the middle of the park. Something I'm looking at. Obviously, we're playing wing play, but getting a midfielder in behind these two, just for when. The crosses get headed out. Jagney should be there picking that second ball up with a bit of luck. And the best the best centre-back, yeah, I'd go with that. The best centre-back at the club. Matty Brown, absolute giant of a man, six foot four. He's back from his hip injury. Passed his fitness test. Now I do just need to change this bench slightly. Because of the fact in the National League, North, you are only allowed five subs. <clears throat> so we're going to go with Cassidy instead of McGill for this game. And I mean, look at the form of the bench. Really good. Stuart Lewis can feel a little bit hard done by. But again, it's just rotation. And let's get into the game. Let's go what the assistant manager will pump the fists. Here we go. Highlight after two minutes. Tinkler to Lily. Back out to Tinkler to Duckworth. Whips one in. There's Dyson. Header at the back post. Plays it back across. Great goal and a great start. And I love these sky blue kits. Here we go. Just from a throw in, Tinkler gets the header back from Lily. Plays it over to Duckworth. Duckworth whips one in, back stick. Dyson, free header. Clark Stone, just not marking him at all. 1 0 to us. Now, Alfreton. A Brett straight out to to claim it. You see how over the top he went with that save. He is quite eccentric, that goalkeeper, and I think that was proof of it there. Where well, we are on the break, Lily down the wing. There's Neil to Dyson. Neil again plays it back to Dyson over the top. To Newton, who does have a cross on him. Thompson Brissett, another headed goal. 
And there's that man I was so excited about in pre-season. I thought he was going to be a 20-goal a season player. There's his first in the first game. <clears throat> really good. Look at the cross from Newton from there. A cultured header straight into that bottom corner from Thompson Brissett. It's gone quite well this, isn't it, after 11 minutes? Top of the league. Hopefully we'll stay there. If you actually look at the XG, we're playing so much better than our XG at the moment. That's probably shown by the goals, though. The There were pretty um, tricky finishes, shall we say. Half-time 2-0. Let's pump the fists. We've played well so far, but there's room for improvement. Let's get into the second half. Ooh, and they've got one back. 52 seconds gone in the second half. <clears throat> and it's gone down as a tinkler on goal. Oh, it's Duckworth. Duckworth tries to clear. Hits it straight into Tinkler. And it's 1-2. Here we go. Let's see if we can make up for that hash clearance. Duckworth gets it back, whips it in. Dyson to Redshaw, Redshaw. Always bank on that man to score from there. He might only be five foot four. Look at how tiny he looks compared to everybody else. But if you get the ball into feet to Redshaw in that sort of area, he's always going to finish it. Great goal. I think the cross was actually meant for Redshaw. Which is a worry. Because out of all the players there, why would you pick Redshaw out? Neil to Newton. Newton. Thompson Brissett. Oh, he's fluffed it. I mean, he was offside anyway, but he's absolutely hashed that. Lely, good goal kick again. The amount of highlights that start from Zabret's distribution. Oh, Neil's give the ball away there. Oh, Kennedy's missed the header. Reeves is in on goal. Thought Newton was going to give a penalty away there. Zabret with a save. It's just Neil just giving the ball away there in central midfield. Let's have a look. He's not having a great game. But again, his condition is really good. Lily is tired. So we'll get him off. Woolerton can come on again for him. Don't really want to take any of the strikers off. They've both got a goal. I think we will bring Neil off. Just bring Woods on. Just get him sitting a little bit deeper in that defensive role. And I'm also going to bring Matty Brown on. Bring him on for Kieran Kennedy. Just to, just to shore up the defence a little bit. You can play 45 minutes. So half an hour. Half an hour will do him good. Let's see how we go. Hopefully it'll be a nice quiet end to the game. No more highlights will do me fine. Filtering through. Here we go. And it's an Alfreton attack. Newton goes out to him. Dyson's really in field. Oh, the penalty. Penalty. 
has to be a penalty. Yellow card. They can get themselves back in the game here. Atkinson to take it. Zabret, come on. He was close to saving that. Dived the right way. Really slow with his dives though. Nearly got there though. And we're just going to let's change that mentality. We'll just go defensive for the last few minutes. Matty Brown to Tinkler. Bit worried that this is a highlight. And Alfreton on the attack again. Dyson to Newton. Newton plays it forward. Thompson Brissett with a header on, but Redshaw wasn't there. Highlight still continues. Matty Brown, all six foot four of him. That's what we've been missing at the back. His presence. Dyson, Dyson wiggles free. Tame effort. Willis collects. Surely that's the end of the game. Come on. Yes. 3-2 victory. Look on the XG. They actually had a slightly higher XG than us, but a very, very even game. Them two goals in the first 10 minutes really helped us. Again, what do you say? We should be beating Alfredton. We're going to go no gesture. I'll go with a good win, boys. Try and get the Morallo. Still early in the season. Nobody was particularly outstanding. Ollie Dixon and Thompson Brissett played well, but again, they should be playing well. And that result puts us fifth. Clyde. Clyde with a 4 0 win. David Perkins on the score sheet. Former Darlington player, David Perkins. He had a season with Darlington. Just before uh, we went into administration and went bust. Right, let's have a look. So we've had the third qualifying round um, draw. We are playing Bromsgrove Sporting. So I'm not sure what to do. I might come back for the sec for the th third episode. I might come back straight away and show you Boston United because they are one of the uh, promotion favourites along with us and Bromsgrove Sporting in the third round. And then from there, we'll see where the FA Cup goes within the draw and see what games are around that time. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Again, with this, with this being a new channel, please subscribe. Please like this video. Get people viewing it. You know, all that good stuff with the YouTube algorithm. And yeah. If you're enjoying this, give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much.